Hello everyone, my name's Steven and welcome to another SafeSend video. Today what I want to talk about is a feature of SafeSend 1 that provides firms with a lot of value. Now a lot of the features are very pointed into specific deliverables such as the organizer, a gather request, sending the return, sending an organizer. Uh, but today I want to talk about the secure file exchange. Uh, so the secure file transfer feature gives the firm's ability to securely transfer documents back and forth between them and their clients all year long. And you can do this from online, or we also provide an Outlook plugin that allows us to do this as well. So just wanna take a very quick look at least the online portion, and just know that everything that I do here online, you can also do in that Outlook plugin. When we launch SaveSend 1, we're going to select the Exchange option. Once that opens up, we are going to see our dashboard here on the left-hand side. We have inbox, drafts, sent, spam, request documents, files, unlock, history reports, and our settings. Now, I'm just going to show the basic functionalities of the secure file exchange, and that is number one, sending a message to the client. We just compose a new message, add the recipient's email, put in a subject, and we attach our files. It can be multiple files of multiple file types. We can add a message if you would like. And in our settings, if we haven't sent to this person before, we will be asked to create an authentication method. So we can choose a retention period of anywhere from one day up to seven years. Authentication method of a question and answer or just an access code. Most commonly, the question and answer is what folks will choose. And we have some basic questions of last four social, last four VIN, cell phone, home zip. And we just enter in that answer. We can preview it or we can go ahead and send it to the client. Now when the client gets it, they simply click download files, enter their email, verify the last four digits of their social, and they'll be able to download that file or download all. If you did include a message, it will be there. Now, when it comes to sending, we have drafts and we can also see our sent folder and see what we sent and we can download those attachments and everything from there. We can also request documents from a client. So if we want to request very specific documents, this can be done on an individual level. Uh, so we do have this functionality also built in the gather request packaged around sending the organizer questionnaire um, and it has some AI to the document request list on that gather side. But if you just need some files from the client sometime during the year, you can always just hit new request and build out a document request list here. Now I won't make you folks watch me enter in all the information, but you simply enter in the client's info, a subject, you can create templates for document request lists. So you can choose from a template enter a message, you have some optional things around due dates in your retention period, authentication method, and then we simply build out that list of documents that we want to request. Um, we go and send that request. On the client side, we'll click upload files in the email we received, verify our email, enter the last four of our social, and we will see a window for us to upload files. So we simply click upload, and attach those files to those specific documents. And that's all, the client can upload one or multiple files to each section if they would like to, and then they can submit the request saying that they are finished. Back on the firm side, in our request documents window, we see everything that we've sent out for request and we can actually track it in real time. So we see that that client uploaded their Disney W2, but they haven't uploaded anything else. I can send reminders, I can download. Uh, if the status was complete and they marked it as such, I can go ahead and reopen it. And if I need to request more, I can go ahead and add additional documents that I need from that client on the fly. Now the history reports will show us everything we've sent out and everything we've received uh, from our clients. We essentially see a complete report of everything they've sent, what it was and what times and what dates. We can download this into reports and do with it what we will. The last thing I'm gonna show you is our drop-off links. So every firm will have a company drop-off link and every user will have a personal drop-off link. And this is a way for the client to send you documents without them having to log into an account or anything like that. The company drop-off link is generic and they will need to enter in the recipient. This is good for placing on your website but everyone's personal drop-off link is good for their email signature. Create a link that says, send me files here. And when the client clicks on this link, they get this form. The client will fill out the form, email, first name, last name, and add their files and any message they would like and hit send. 
we will email them an access code. Once they enter that code in and hit authenticate, that file will be sent to the firm. And back in our firm inbox, we see our drop-off file sent from Peter and we can go ahead and download it. Okay, folks, that is all for the secure file transfer feature today. Please note that everything that I did on that online account can be done in the Outlook web add-in. That Outlook web add-in is easy to add into your Outlook and it is very simple to use. And again, we can send files, receive files, create document request lists, and download everything right from that Outlook plugin as well. Thank you for watching.